I'm Dwarf68, and you're watching Bitter Poet Madman. Rock on. Hey guys, welcome to another craft beer review. I'm just going to kick this one in the kitchen. I don't feel like getting the light and moving the furniture around and everything else. Today what we're going to be reviewing is a Fisher Blonde. Look there, really no label. This is a French beer. This could be the first French beer I've ever reviewed. Um, it's 6% ABV. It is a European style pale ale. It's the technical style of it. So let's get this open. It's got one of these nice swing tops on it. Probably end up keeping the bottle. Now the guy at the beer store was just like ranting and raving about this and he wow, was nice. He couldn't get enough and he was like, oh you know, it's only four bucks and you gotta try it and it's a really good deal and it's really good and it's really good, really cold. So I was like, alright, I'll bite. Let's do it. So I'll have four here. typical pale ale color but it is a little darker retaining a nice one finger about one and a half finger head there smells very much like a wheat beer and nothing like a pale ale getting some uh, some orange smell there some little bit of clove maybe so that, you know that kind of clove banana smell you get in a lot of uh, wheat beers very curious very curious and this is from the Fisher Brewing Company since 1821. Like I said, 6% ABV. Well, I read somewhere else it was 6.5%, but you know, I'm not going to complain over half a percent either way. It's how it tastes. Hmm. Really sweet up front. Almost like a tangy sweet. A lot of things going on with this beer. But you know, a really bland aftertaste. Just kind of nothing there. Mouth feels good, the carbonation really kicks in. It's pretty well carbonated, maybe even a little too much carbonation. Kind of dances on your tongue a little bit. But it's actually pretty, it's very, it's quite pleasant. Uh, like I said, that back of the palate down here is very bland, almost like you're at a. Uh, like a freeze-dried banana chip or whatever. It's almost like the exact taste you get. It's just kind of bland towards the end there. But it's smooth, it's refreshing, it's easy to drink. Um, a lot of what I smell in the taste, a little bit of that orange, a little bit of that clove banana kind of combination there. But there's something else there I can't really put my finger on. Very very sweet. Like it almost like attacks your tongue with this sweetness. Let's have another smell and I've had a couple sips. Yeah, about the same. You know, I bet you this will go really, really nice with something like, as far as food goes, something like a fish, you know, maybe like a tilapia or something like that. That would probably be pretty interesting. It's pretty good. It's nothing mind-blowingly great. Um, nowhere near my A category, but it is pretty good. Tell you what, I'm going to have a few more sips of this. I'm going to chill a little bit, and I'll come back with my final thoughts and opinions on this uh, European-style pale ale. All right, guys, I'm back. And I'll tell you what, initial taste, pretty pleasant. Aftertaste, kind of bland. Maybe a little too much carbonation in there. Now, for four bucks, for a nice swing top like this, I'd say it's worth your time if you can find it. However, I'm going to give this one a B minus. It is better than average. It is good. Just nothing to blow my mind. Appreciate you guys watching. Now stay tuned for some bonus coverage with my friend Gabe. Cheers. This is video. <laughs> I'm thinking.
god. <laughs>